Well, it's Saturday evening and greetings and welcome to the 2021 annual meeting of the main chapter of the Appalachian Mountain Club. I'm John Mullins. I'm a main chapter member and a member of the AMC Board of Directors. And I've been invited to be the host for this evening. If this is your, your normal meal time, uh, I want to invite you to feel free to eat along with the rest of us because we can't see you and we don't know what you're eating. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have a dessert to share tonight, but if we were meeting in person, I'm sure it would be a, a dark chocolate flourless tort, as in many of our past in-person annual meetings. We're hoping to have dinner and dessert with each of you in person next year, so keep your hopes up. This is the chapter's second Zoom annual meeting. And there are a few Zoom guidelines that we'd like to share before we get started. First, because this is a webinar, everyone is muted automatically except for the planned speakers. Next, if you have questions during the business meeting or during either of the two main speakers, please use the Q&A function um, to type in your question. That's usually found at the bottom of your screen. And chapter Ch vice chair, Jerry King will collect your questions and comments and then verbalize them at the appropriate time. And finally, there will be two votes this evening during the business meeting. First to approve the 2022 slate of officers and volunteers for the executive committee. And then second to adjourn the meeting and each motion will appear on your screen. And let's do a practice session now, a practice vote now with Jerry King at the controls, just to demonstrate how the motion will appear like this. So Jerry, if you wanna put up that practice motion. To practice for us as well. Yes, there we go. Okay, watch. All right, so take a look at the question, click on your answer. And Jerry, that's that. one for the, uh, the executive committee approval. That's the first one that popped up there. Yeah, I know there's a thing at the top, a drop down slate thing. So that was the real vote, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. It's, it's okay for our practice. Okay. Do it again. Yeah. Just have to redo it. Yep. Okay, great. So after each vote is concluded, Jerry will try to post the results so that everyone can see how the vote progressed. <clears throat> So here is how tonight will go. We'll begin with a few introductions and then start the business meeting where we'll hear a couple of reports, vote on the 2022 executive committee, recognize some special people, that sort of thing. At the conclusion of the business meeting, we'll hear greetings from AMC at City Square, draw names for some door prizes and close with our featured speaker. So let's get started by acknowledging some special guests. First up is Susan Arnold, who will talk with us later. She's AMC's Vice President for Conservation. Welcome, Susan. Also, Hannah Hergenrather, who is AMC's Excellent Volunteer Relations Manager. And yes, that is her title, Excellent Volunteer Relations Manager. She works closely with the main chapter and she's on staff at AMC. Also in the audience tonight is Elizabeth Ehrenfeld, a main chapter member, but uh, equally important, chair of AMC's board of directors and a registered main guide. Eliza Townsend is director of AMC's main conservation policy office. And Jenny Ward, I believe is logged on. She's a registered main guide and 
our longtime and valued Maine business and community relations manager based in Greenville. Also, I noticed Jody Inglis log on. Uh, she's a former member of AMC's board of directors and a regional director for the South, but more importantly, she's a Mainer from birth. And also I, I noticed Catherine Burney, who is a member of AMC's board of advisors um, and equally important, a, a former student of mine. And also tonight, a former chapter chair back with us, Peter Roderick. Welcome, Peter. And Jeff Ryan will be with us shortly as well. He's our one of our main speakers. All right, with the introductions out of the way, let's let chapter chair Bill Brook begin the annual business meeting. Bill? Muted? Mm -mm. I can't. Is he muted? I don't know. I'd like to call this um, meeting to order. And the first order of business is the uh, chapter chair's report. So, uh, welcome everyone. It's great to see we've got such a good turnout for this meeting. We had optimistically planned to have an in-person meeting this year, but due to the increased rate of COVID infections made the decisions to go virtual again this year. We hope we can go back to having an in-person annual meeting next year. As you'll hear from Janet, the chapter is well positioned financially as our spending has been significantly reduced this year. Chapter membership has grown by six and a half percent this year and is approaching 6,500 members. We've also gained followers on our social media accounts. The Trails Committee has had a very productive year, adding four new trail leaders in training, working joint products with projects with Portland Trails, the Nor Northern Forest Canoe Trail, and local land trusts. They also led trail work excursions for August Camp and continue to support trail maintenance in the Maine woods. Although we did not hold a wilderness first aid or leader training this year, the Leadership Development Committee is planning both for next spring in April. Our outings trip were up this year over last year as leaders became vaccinated and more comfortable leading trips under the new AMC guidelines. The Young Members Group hosted a well-attended Baxter camping trip in July and a Bigelow's backpack in October, among other outings. We also joined with L.L. Bean and led eight local hikes for their Summer Across Maine program. Our regional director and friend, John Mullins, is retiring after six years as director. Beth Zimmer from the New Hampshire chapter will be the new director for the Maine and New Hampshire region. More about them later in the program. The uh, Horseshoe Pond Shelter in the Maine woods was jointly funded by Maine, Boston, and Worcester, and was completed this year. This project was for a new shelter and access pass. The shelter will be dedicated to Andrew Norkin, longtime AMC trails director who passed away last winter. The dedication ceremony is planned for next spring. Uh, thank you. And now we'll hear from Janet, our treasurer. You have the slide. Janet, are you there? I'm here. Can you hear me? Okay. Oh, thanks, Bill. <laughs> okay, Treasurer's Report is um, going to be really quick because it's really good. Uh, main chapter assets increased this year. We have $85,000 in assets and a lot of third of that is in um, the checking account and the remainder is in funds that are held in reserve by AMC. Our income stayed incredibly steady with last year, um, almost the same number. And if you put that slide back, I'll continue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
or maybe not. Um, and so our expenses were half this year of what they were last year because our usually our biggest expenses are the annual meeting and um, wilderness for a state. And so, since we didn't do those um, in person this year, uh, we didn't have those expenses. So we're well positioned to have a good strong uh, year next year. And that's the end of my report. Okay, terrific. Thank you, Janet. You've been a great treasurer these last three years. And now Paul Hahn, chair of the chapter nominating committee will present the 2022 slate of nominees. Paul? If you put up the, uh, the slide uh, so that everybody could see them before they vote, uh, the slate has been approved by the nominating committee and is now presented by the nominating committee Pursuant to the bylaws of the chapter, uh, these uh, slate, uh, this slate was uh, on the chapter website for the required 30 days prior to the annual meeting. Paul, while Bill is working on that, perhaps you could read the names of the people being nominated. Uh, just a minute. <laughs> Oops, same. Case. Well, the chapter chair will be Bill Brook, chapter vice chair Jerry King, secretary Janine Libby. Of course, I was. Well, there we are. Uh, Treasurer Malcolm Pearson, uh, there we go, uh, and the Secretary Janine Libby, I guess I mentioned that. Uh, the chairs of the committees, uh, membership Karen Brace, Maine Woods Initiative, Paul Hahn, newsletter editor Sarah Hunter, nominating chair Paul Hahn, trails chair Phil Coyne, young members chair Stephen Proviser. So at this time, Bill, I, um, as I previously stated, the nominating committee uh, presents the slate of officers uh, and approves them and uh, requests a vote. Okay, there we go. All right, everybody should be voting now. Did you vote? Hmm? Did you vote? No, I don't know. I, I don't have my thing. See, I don't think you can request. And when the vote is concluded, Jerry can post the results. We're at uh, 25 of 29 participants. And some participants I know are not members, so will not be able to vote. That may be a part of the difference. See, I have nothing to get. There's a little note on the bottom of the screen that says hosts and panelists cannot vote. Hmm. I guess we can't. Okay, Jerry, do you want to draw it to a close? I'll do that. I'm going to end the poll and then I'll show the results. Sharing results now. Yeah, right. Well, congratulations. The new executive committee has now officially been elected. Congratulations and thank you for volunteering. 
All right, we'll now move to recognition and awards. And recognition first, um, here is Karen Brace, who is our membership chair. Welcome, Karen. Thanks, John. And thank you all for attending tonight. It's great, we have such a, such a good turnout, as Bill said and John said. Uh, your participation as members of this organization really makes possible all the ongoing progress of AMC. And tonight, we are highlighting the contributions of our long-term members, those who've reached the benchmarks of 25 and 50 years of supporting AMC. So in a minute, we'll have those names up for you so you can know who they are. There they are, right there. Look at that. Um, I wanted to say that everyone has their reasons for joining, whether it's our club's outings and activities, it's trails and huts, or AMC's efforts to conserve land. And after um, I present these names and honor their long memberships, I'll share with you a few comments that they've shared with me, one um, from each group of 50-year members and 25-year members uh, about their long membership with AMC and some of their experiences. So, um, the impact of our organization's conservation work, as you know, is especially apparent here in Maine, where AMC has preserved 75,000 acres of land in the North Woods, soon to be more. And that seems to be a very common theme among these members for their long support of the organization. So here are our chapter's 50 year members. Thank you all for your long support. Uh, Harris Bixler, Mr. and Mrs. Bodka, Sherwood Brown, Jean Dufour, Beverly Essen, John Geismar, John McCoy, Elizabeth Roper, and uh, you can see where they're all from. It, it represents a long, a, a wide um, expanse of Maine, um, which we're very proud of. So from John Geismar, he says that his AMC membership has been an important fabric of his life. He describes how his membership for 50 years has been due to AMC's efforts in preservation and climate change and how uh, our organization encourages participation and inclusion. And he also tells a story of how AMC inspired him to climb all of New Hampshire's 4,000 footers by the time he was 20. And that's otherwise known as peak bagging, as you may have heard that expression. So thank you to John and our other long-term members for your dedication to AMC. And now I'll honor the 25-year members of the main chapter and then relay a special experience that was shared with me by one of these members. Our 25-year members are Anna Carr, Wayne Cole, Charles and Joan Frost, Wendy and Stephen Gall, Emily Swan and Sarah Hunter, Sandra and Dennis King, David Landman, Jeff Lloyd, Christina Sullivan, Ellen Sullivan, Darren Thayer, Trayson Thayer, Richard Talkman, Ray Topar, and Davis Whitesell. So thank you, all of you. Um, for your dedication through these years. And Anna Carr uh, shared with me, um, well, she says, I appreciate the recognition and the 25 year pin as she put that right on her hiking hat, she says, and talked about her experience on trails like this section of the Appalachian Trail that runs through Maine. And one of her favorites, Mahusik Notch, she says, the view from the top is made all the more sweet by the labor to get there. And <laughs> she says, it's hard to put the joy of this trail in a couple sentences. For me, it's a magical place, so full of wildness and hard work. And with that in mind, she wants to thank the volunteers who maintain the trails, some of, several of whom are on this call tonight. Um, and thank you to all our main chapter members for your ongoing participation and support. And I'll turn it back over to Bill. 
or is it John? Am I turning it back to you? <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll take it, but only temporarily. Thank you, Karen, very much. Um, yeah. And I'll turn it now to Bill, because we sadly we have some departing members of the executive committee, and Bill will talk about them. Yes. Um, so our departing executive committee members this year are Janet Roderick. Janet has been the chapter treasurer for the last three years and has done a terrific job of managing our budget and keeping us in line financially. So thank you, Janet. Uh, Kim Sanders Watson. Uh, Kim's been the chair of the Leadership Development Committee for the past two years. She was the first chair of this committee and is, was instrumental in establishing it. Kim is also the on the nominating committee and will remain as a committee member for the LDC. Thank you, Kim. Uh, Kerry Kish. Kerry's been a long time. Uh, he told me 10 years. Wendell Dennis Matters, newsletter editor. He's retiring as the editor this year and is to pursue his interests in hiking and writing. Uh, so thank you, Kerry. Chris Franklin. Chris joined the executive committee as an at-large member and then moved to being the conservation chair for the last three years. Um, thanks, Chris, for your service. Whitney Pulaski has been a member at large on the executive committee for the last three years. This last year, she has served as the main chapter representative on the AMC Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee. Thank you, Whitney. Melina Ngati. Melina has been, been a member at large on the executive committee for the last two years. She's also helped with our social media posting. Thanks, Melina. Okay, and now we're on to um, Appy of the Year. Oops. I'm sorry, I'm leader, leader, recognition. leader recognition. I'm out of sync, sorry. So the past two years have been difficult for leaders due to the potential of COVID exposure from participants. Many leaders chose not to lead trips this last year. And this year, more leaders have led trips and more participants are joining them. I'd like to recognize the following leaders who have led trips every year for the last 10 years. Um, Jeannie Christie, Debbie Cantor, Peg Nation, Peter Roderick, and Kim Saunders, and myself. Uh, this year we have a new leader who's led trips every year for five years. That's Susan Sarabin. Um, we, for new leaders this year, we have uh, Robin Hebler, Stephanie Lynch, David Lynch, and Stephen Profanzer. And for leader candidates, we have Diane Neff, Jonathan Niehoff, Katie and Josh Barlow, Patsy Thompson Levitt, and Rod McKay. Okay. Uh, next, we have the Appy of the Year Award. So I have yet to find a definitive answer from where the term Appy originated but it is used to refer to the Appalachian Mountain Club volunteer who works tirelessly, sometimes behind the scenes, organizing trips, activities, and programs, leading by in practice and by example. The Appy of the Year is someone who has served in this manner for several years over time, continuing this commitment. They are an active volunteer rather than someone who has served well in the past or for a limited time. The Appy exemplifies what is best about the volunteer ethic that makes our club and most particularly our chapter so special. The main chapter Appy of the Year's name is added to this hiking staff and they are entrusted with its care for the year. I'm very pleased to present the 2001 main chapter Appy of the Year award to one who embodies these 
attributes to Phil Cohn. Phil has been the main chapter's trail committee chair for the past four years. He has organized and led numerous trail work trips over that time, leading nine trips this past year. Phil has established and maintained relationships with local land trusts and organizations, including Portland Trails, and has organized and led work trips to assist in maintaining their trails. In addition to trail work, Phil also provides updates and editing support for the AMC main chapter website, as well as filling in and managing our Facebook site as needed. Phil also enjoys hiking. He's hiked the long trail, canoeing and running where he just finished the Boston Marathon this year. Thank you, Phil, for your service to the main chapter and the AMC. That's great, Bill. Well, while you're moving to the next section, I would like to just uh, say that Phil Coyne is on our call tonight. Um, unfortunately, he can't speak um, just because of our, uh, our webinar set up here, but Phil, congratulations. I know there are a lot of people out there who are wishing you well and thanking you for everything that you've done for the chapter. Yes, thank you, Phil, it's well-deserved. All right, uh, next um, we have a, uh, our regional director is retiring this year. Uh, and that's John Mullins. And John has began volunteering with the AMC in the main chapter shortly after moving to Maine and becoming an AMC member for 16 years ago. He's been a consistent MWI trails volunteer, chaired the chapter's meetings and education committee for four years, hosting a monthly potluck and speaker series in Brunswick, <clears throat> excuse me, and chaired the chapter's MWI committee. John was a natural to be tapped to be on AMC's board of directors as the Northern Regional Director working with the Maine and New Hampshire chapters. In his regional director position, John has been a voice of chapter volunteers to the board. He has chaired the board's chapters committee as well as serving on the board committees for MWI and for diversity, equity, and inclusion. Reaching the end of his six year tenure means that John will, John will have more time for the outdoor activities he loves, hopefully here in Maine. Thank you, John, for all your hard work on the AMC board. Now we'd like to have uh, uh, Paul Hahn say a few words. Thank you, Bill. Uh, we know John and his love for the out of doors, but we also know John as a gentleman who always treats everyone with respect and courtesy. John is always positive on any project or challenge and willing to help in any way he is able. These attributes make him a great leader as he has shown with the chapter and the club, and in particular, advancing the Maine Woods Initiative. John, thanks for everything that you've done and we'll see you on the trail. Thank you. Thanks, Paul. And uh, also, Peter Roderick will say a few words for John. Thanks, Bill. When Bill Brooke asked me to say a few words about John in recognition of his completing his six year term on the AMC Board of Directors, I pondered about the best way to summarize all that John has given us, main chapter members, and the AMC mm -hmm. in a couple of minutes. John and I are the same age. Well, actually, John is a few months older than me. <laughs> and I remind him of that each year when he is a year older, at least on paper, for four months. I consider John to be the big, the big brother I never had. He is wiser, kinder, and just an excellent role model for me, his younger brother. I try to emulate him, but usually fall short, but appreciate that he is there for me whenever I need help and encouragement. John is also the main chapter's big brother. He has been setting the highest standard of support for the AMC and the main chapter since I first met him. He has counseled the several chapter chairs who have served since John joined AMC and been the person behind the curtain, you remember the Wizard of Oz, for the many volunteers, whether XCOM members, trip leaders, or volunteers for the many opportunities that the chapter offers. He offers wonderfully simple yet highly effective solutions to the many problems 
and issues that arise during a typical AMC year. He helps all of us to be more productive and effective in our various roles with the AMC and shows us how to have a good time while doing so. His time on the board of directors as the regional rep for the Maine and New Hampshire chapters has been more of the same with the club benefiting from the wisdom and skill that we Maine chapter members have been the beneficiaries of for many years. As John steps down from the AMC board of directors, we will all, rem all remember all that he has done to make us better people in the AMC, a better organization. Thanks, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Peter. And uh, John, in recognition of all your support and work for the main chapter as regional director, we are giving you a certificate for two for staying in the AMC in a main AMC lodge. So thank you very much, John. We will miss oh, you. That's, that's really terrific. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Paul, Peter, for those kind words. Really a, a major part of the joy that I've gotten from AMC has been meeting and volunteering with and getting to know people like, like you all. I thoroughly enjoyed my early AMC years organizing potlucks um, as part of AMC's education mission. I've also loved the time that I've spent working on trails. It's a real joy to repay the many prior years that I use trails without contributing to their upkeep. And I've truly appreciated the ultimate mission of AMC, conservation. And I'm very proud of our organization for conserving, almost conserving a total of 100,000 acres in Maine for future generations that might otherwise have been lost to public use and enjoyment. But in addition to those three, however, perhaps the greatest personal enjoyment has been meeting the wonderful people of AMC. Whether it's folks that I've played with, worked with, or strategized with, the AMC staff, the members, the volunteers that I've met and gotten to know really are uniformly dedicated, hardworking, smart, generous people who live their values. So thank you everyone for making my AMC involvement so enjoyable and rewarding. I do hope as Paul said, to see you all out on the trails for many years yet to come. Thank you all very much. And if I can, if I can move on, Bill, I'll, I will identify someone who is out on the trail right now, and that's the new regional director for Maine and New Hampshire, Beth Zimmer. Beth is an avid outdoors woman who joined AMC 29 years ago to support the club's trail maintenance and conservation efforts. In doing so, she became an active AMC volunteer, an excursions leader, then co-chair of excursions committee, serving on the New Hampshire chapter executive committee. She's an instructor for winter hiking, an adventure travel leader leading trips out of the country and a recipient of the AMC volunteer recognition award. In short, she's smart, capable, fun, and will be an excellent regional director. And she is not with us tonight, because she is tenting out as an instructor over this weekend in the New Hampshire chapters winter hiking series. So I, I know you will enjoy meeting and getting to know Beth. I'm really proud that she is stepping up as regional director. And now I think that's it for the meeting for the formal part of the business meeting. So Bill Brook will take a vote to adjourn the meeting. Okay, um, yes, uh, could I have a motion to adjourn the uh, 2021 main chapter annual meeting? Uh, this is Paul, I'll make the motion. And a second? I'll second it, it's Karen. Karen uh, and Jerry, could you put up the vote please for the adjourn the meeting? So if everyone would please uh, vote to adjourn or not. <laughs> We're going to anyway. <laughs> we should ask how to vote. No, didn't you hear him say?
the uh, panelists weren't able to vote. Yeah, okay, so I think it's um, kind of stabilizing here. If you haven't voted, please do show shortly here. We have about 30 participants. We get 25 voting. So can you mute the panelists now? <laughs> Perhaps. Panelists can mute themselves down in the bottom left of your screen, I believe. Yeah. I think we're done, Bill. Oh, one okay. more. Why don't you go ahead and show us the results? Well, I guess we know the results. All right, so it's 27 in favor and none opposed. Um, so we will adjourn the meeting. The meeting's adjourned. Great. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Jerry. Okay. So we'll move on to greetings from City Square, which is the headquarters now of AMC. And our first speaker tonight is Susan Arnold, AMC's Vice President for Conservation and so much more. Um, I'll introduce Susan in a moment, but if you have questions for her, please remember to use the Q&A function within Zoom to send those questions. And Jerry will ask your questions at the end of Susan's remarks. Susan Arnold is AMC's longtime Vice President for Conservation, and she coordinates our overall conservation mission and strategy from Maine to Virginia, overseeing research, conservation and recreation policy, and volunteer relations. Prior to working for AMC, Susan was Director of Policy for Governor Jean Shaheen of New Hampshire for six years. Susan also worked in DC for a US Senator and is a lobbyist on smoking and health issues. Always on the correct side of issues, please welcome Susan Arnold. Thank you, John. Thank you so much. And thank you, uh, members of the main chapter for having me here this evening. I'm very happy to be here and to give a brief overview of some of the, the major things that have been happening, but I do have to correct one thing. I am not at 10 City Square. I actually live and work primarily out of a home office in New Hampshire. And as I warned my feather, fellow panelists, I've just heard a big clap of thunder here. So if I disappear in the middle of all this, um, you'll know what happened. <laughs> but I will proceed and hope that uh, everything um, stays up. So first, again, uh, Susan Arnold, I am the Vice President for Conservation, also at this time the Interim VP for um, our Outdoor Journey group, which encompasses our leadership training and programs like um, um, Educators Outdoors and uh, other leadership and education uh, training programs. So um, I'm pretty busy, <clears throat> but I'm really happy to be here tonight. And it's been fun to, to, to listen in on, on what's going on with the chapter and really um, just get a better sense for, for some, of the, some of the wonderful things that, that are happening here. And I do want to say that I'm going to be giving a very brief overview um, because as we did last year, we're going to be creating a more detailed video update that will be shared um, a little later this year. So please keep an eye out on your, in your inboxes for that video update, which will feature various people from around the AMC talking about, about some of the big, the big things we've been working on this year. But really, my primary goal and reason for being here tonight is just to say thank you. Thank you to all of you, because it's you in our chapters who you're the front lines of AMC. You are the face of AMC. You, you are the people that, that are making our mission real to the people who come to us for conservation, for outdoor activities for leadership training. You are doing it. Um, you do it by renewing your membership,
by your additional contributions and all of that support you do on the ground, um, helping us to successfully navigate what has certainly been a really challenging couple of years. Um, a lot of changes, a lot of adoptions, a lot of adaptations, a lot of uh, changes to make sure that we all stay COVID safe and that we are playing our role in the larger community to, to try to suppress the spread of COVID. So thank you so much to AMC volunteers who make the chapter work and all of you who volunteer at our lodges and huts. And I know particularly in Maine, you all are such a presence um, up at the Maine Woods Initiative, working on trails, providing information to the visitors. Um, I still remember many, many years ago, very early on, um, eating some wonderful meals cooked by Janet Roderick um, as she was the cook for a couple of weekends um, before we were fully staffed. Um, so we also, though, have a lot of other volunteers who spend an immense amount of time on Zoom, <laughs> as we all do these days, um, but doing things like budgeting, working on all these policies that we've had to change around in the time of COVID, uh, including planning this meeting. So it's just so important what you all do, every piece of work. And of course, we're always looking for more volunteers and hope that you know, you know whether you're a paddling leader or a trails adopter or working up in Maine woods on the shelter or spreadsheets, not my strong suit, but some people, we appreciate you. Um, so a couple of things I, I wanna say first about, uh, about the main chapter. Um, you are so important, as I noted, to our work up at the Maine Woods Initiative. We are really, really grateful. Um, this year, there was a wonderful combination of financial and volunteer support in creating that shelter at Horseshoe Pond you heard earlier about that, that will be named in honor of, of Andrew Norkin. I think there will be a ceremony this spring, and I'm sure you'll see more about that. But it was the main chapter in combination with Boston and Worcester who helped to fund and build this really beautiful shelter. I had a chance to see it, or see the site earlier this summer. The, the shelter wasn't up yet, but what a, what a location, what a beautiful, beautiful remote pond. It's, it's truly um, a very special place. Um, also, I understand that the Maine chapter participated in summer across Maine, leading beginner hikes with L.L. Bean. That's such a great partnership for us. Thank you to the leaders who supported this and, and helped get even more people outdoors. And finally, I'd like to offer a special thanks to the executive committee and the leadership of this chapter. It's, um, as we've all noted, it's been a tough time. I know that decision to make this annual meeting virtual again was a very tough decision, but I think it was the right one. It's just been a difficult, challenging, changeable time. But Bill Brook, Jerry King, and many others have kept the chapter leadership focused and engaged. And you've really set a great example for building community, hosting numerous Be Online with AMC programs and trainings, and keeping the chapter up and running. We heard earlier more social media follow followers. Um, you know, you've really just just stepped right up in this challenging time. So thank you. Um, and finally, I just wanna give a very special shout out to John Mullins, who I have so enjoyed working with uh, as our regional director serving on the board from this region. He will definitely be sorely missed, but I have to say he deserves having more time to enjoy the outdoors. So thank you, John. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I hope you'll keep an eye out for that video update with more about what AMC's 2021 20, accomplishments are. I heard earlier that I hope many of you, a few of us panelists and hosts, were participating last night, uh, or excuse me, Thursday night, in our celebration of the AMC Maine Woods International Dark Sky Park 
were the first dark sky park in New England, so designated by the International Dark Sky Association. And uh, to judge by the registrants we had for the webinar, over 300, I think that's a pretty exciting prospect that, that people are looking forward to better understanding and participating in what it means to help conserve dark skies and what we can actually see up in the Maine woods. Uh, it's pretty amazing. We're also uh, around the region continuing with our programming, leadership training, uh, running a couple of new visitor centers down in Harriman State Park, uh, lots of trail contract work from, from Baxter and Acadia down to, um, down, to, down to the area in Pennsylvania. Where, where we've been doing some trail work for a while and a crew bridge at Cardigan Lodge also to be named in memory of Andrew. We're looking ahead to 2022 with our enact, really starting to enact our commitment to a net zero emissions for the organization. Our goal is to get there no later than, than 20, 2050 and we'll have that strategy released uh, early in the spring. And a little just tip for you is that our 22 lo 2022 lodging bookings, and I actually just saw the recent ones for the main lodges, we are running ahead of 2019. So if you're planning to stay with AMC in Maine or elsewhere, um, get those reservations in. I think it's going to be a big year. And finally, I just want to remind you of our annual summit, which also, once again, will be virtual on January 22nd, 2022. The virtual summit allows more people to take advantage of the workshops and the networking opportunities. And there will be more information coming on that soon with registration opening in December. And I certainly hope to see you there. So just wanna wrap up by saying thank you all so much again for all you do, um, members, volunteers, donors, advocates, really, Without you, um, AMC wouldn't be able to do everything we do to, to advance our mission of fostering the protection, enjoyment, and understanding of the outdoors. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much, Susan. That was terrific. Really appreciate your thoughts there. Jerry, did Susan's comments generate any questions from the people online tonight? Uh, no questions, just checking here. Okay. Well, Susan, I guess you answered all the questions. Um, <laughs> that's really terrific and really Thank appreciate you, you being with us tonight. Thank you again so much. And now we'll move to some door prizes. Bill Brook has a number of door prizes to award. Bill? Yes. Hi, everybody. Um, so we have two tickets for one night's lodging for two adults at an AMC lodge of your choice. Um, and how we're going to do this is um, I had a list. We had about 80 people registered for this originally, and we have 30 participants actually that showed up. So um, what I'm going to do is um, we're going to um, have Susan has offered to uh, pick a random number and we'll go between one and 30. And I'll use the uh, participants list, your order in the participants list, um, your names order in the participants list to uh, pick who's there. And we have some uh, AMC staff or board members or Etc. cetera, in the participants list, which aren't really, we won't, we won't pick them. So if we have one of those, we'll have to pick a different number, but uh, that's uh, what we'll do with that. Um, so uh, let's get started, Susan. Can you pick a number between one and 30 for us, please? Absolutely, 19. 19, okay, it's gonna take me a, minute or two, but. Gee, I could have been one of those. Yeah. Participating. 
Hmm. Hmm. Organizing or fixing the pictures. The excitement is building, Bill. I can hear a lot of heartbeats right here. <laughs> I'll say 19. Okay, so I have Mark Dovorkzen. Dovorkzen. I'm murdering this, but uh, Devor snack, Devor snack, I believe. So Mark is the winner of one. And I do see that Mark is online and uh, chatted a thank you with an exclamation point to everyone. Okay. I see he's in our list. So I have his email address. I have your email address, Mark. All right, so let's go for number two, Susan. Eight. Eight, okay, one, two. It's all my stuff. So that would be Gloria Howard. So Gloria, congratulations. You want to stay in the main lodges? Let's see if I can put it on my list. That's it. So thank you, Susan, and thank you, everyone who came. Um, Pleasure. Thank you. Great. And I guess we're all set with that. Um, thank you again to the main chapter volunteers, um, trip leaders, trail workers, executive committee volunteers, and also thank you to our longtime AMC and main chapter members, especially those Karen mentioned at their 25 and 50 year marks. And thank you to everyone here for joining the main chapter annual meeting this evening. We look forward to some in-person outings this coming year and next year to an in-person annual meeting at this about at this same time. We hope that tonight inspires and invigorates you to stay active outside and to support AMC's conservation work. Please check amcmain.org for the chapter's calendar of activities. You'll find upcoming activities with descriptions and at the uh, small icon at the bottom of the chapter landing page is a link to the main chapter YouTube channel and the video of this annual meeting will be added there soon. So this concludes the 2021 main chapter annual meeting for the main chapter. No, that was it. No. Good night. Source. Mm. They put Good night. Thank you. Be on the trail. Be you on the trail. John would be a good one to ask that. He yeah. probably could tell you how to do it. <laughs>